Hey guys and gals. So I've had the uh, integrated engineering DSG tune for a little over a year now. And this is one for the uh, DQ381, the trans that comes in the uh, MK, MK7 GLIs, and I believe the MK7.5 GTIs, and A3 and S3s. Um, first of all, you guys know the stock DSG tune is almost undrivable in drive. The way it wants to uh, shift up to get better gas mileage, uh, it used to kill me. Um, sport, sport's a little better, but still it doesn't feel like a, a sport mode should feel in my opinion. So the uh, IE DSG tune completely changed all that. It was like, I did the stage one ECE tune at the same exact time and the two go together so nice. Uh, the main thing about the DSG tune I like is like sport is a true sport where it holds the gears and it really, it'll adjust to how you're driving too. But if you're doing some spirits driving, it's pretty much going to be in the gear you want it to be in. Um, drive mode is tolerable now. It, it's, it's about perfect for drive, you know. It, the uh, increased shift points are nice. Uh, the launch control options is what I really like. Just being able to hook up your laptop and change what RPM um, you're launching from, which in my experience, the best has been three, a 3K launch because it's front wheel drive. And these cards are bare to launch, even with uh, proper tires. I mean, I'm talking radials, Mickey Thompson radials. Um, yeah, anything higher than 3K, and you're just gonna spin bulk power where you can't completely deactivate the uh, traction control. At least that's been my experience. Hell, I even leave my traction in sport uh, at the track with the radials on. I've, I've played around with it, and for some reason, that's what works the best. Uh, if you turn it all the way off, it's a no-go. But back to the uh, DSG tune. Um, I really, really liked it with the stage one power and then stage two power and then stage two E30 power. Once I got the IS38 though, and I'm running the E48 tune with the IS38 now, it just, it didn't it didn't really mesh well with the, uh, the tune. Like the shift started feeling a little bit more jerky. Um, it, sh it shifted earlier because with the IS38, I wanted to hold power longer, but, um, I reached out to uh, IE about it, and they ended up doing a revision and sent it to me. And I went to the track, as some of y'all know, and I had been running like, I think my bet, I had run like five 12 O's without getting into the 11s. Well, um, that was with the old uh, DSG tune, and then with the uh, revised one, I went and ran 11.8, 11.9, 11.9, 11.9. So, it definitely is good for, I mean, that's, noticeable improvement if you're talking a tenth two tenths of a second quarter mile is pretty huge from just a tune revision for the transmission but really um with ie their customer service is on point you're not gonna you're not gonna find a better company customer service wise in my opinion in my experience i'd i mean the tunes a lot but it's been worth every penny honestly if you're gonna if you're gonna run your car and enjoy a occasional trip to uh, Mexico or you just like spirited um, driving then I would highly recommend it if this is just like a little fun car and you're not that big into thrills or whatever then mm. but honestly after you if the warranty wasn't a factor I would say everybody with this car should have stage one tune and stage and a DSG tune if they're DSG because it just completely changes the car I mean that was even going from IS-20 to IS-38, the difference is, isn't as big as from stock to stage one. I mean, it's amazing. 